how's everyone doing there today? This is called Flix Fix 24 back with a video. Hope everyone's doing well out there. Um, I'm going to be bringing a new segment here for the spring and summer. I've been watching some uh, spring and summer horror films. Um, so I'll be giving you guys a review. I'm going to at least try once a week, depending on my schedule. Days will vary, but um, usually it'll be mid midweek when I come out with a review. So it's going to be the first video I'm putting up here for the spring summer horror marathon. And this is some I watched earlier. Uh, I was a first time watch. I wanted to share it with you guys here and give you guys my thoughts and opinions. So everyone sit back, relax, enjoy, and let's get this started. So uh, my review is going to be 2021's Crabs. And this is like a summer creature feature here. Um, it's funny because the case, the alternate case, just gave me a whole nother uh, outlook on crabs. I thought it was something else because that just looks uh, strange to me. But it actually is killer crabs, the animals. Uh, <laughs> not the other thing so yeah it kind of fooled me but no it, it's uh it's got a real nice slip too you can see like that kaiju kind of blend to it but um let me get into the film so we got these uh pretty much these group of outcasts they live in this coastal town and you got it being invaded by these uh crabs that look pretty cool um kind of pretty good practical effects on those crabs they're invading through through the water and pretty much attacking people at random and they they go towards their face and pretty much mutilate them to uh, to shreds while you get blood spray and stuff like that it's pretty cool um but anyways you got them taking over this town it gets to prom night and you got a group of characters you got a um, couple love interests brothers um older brother who's an, an adult and a younger brother who's a teenager who team up with a teacher a young teacher her, and her daughter they're pretty much uh double dating there um you have the the love connection between both kinds the teenagers and the adults but um anyways they you have the real this kid named philip he's on a wheelchair he's really smart he invents stuff creates stuff and he has this little area where he works and he uh pretty much makes inventions and stuff like that and has the uh start to investigate and find out that bodies are missing uh you got i mean people are missing and bodies are popping up you got like some you f they start to find out the truth that these crabs are taking over they're invading and then you got um they're mutating they grow to grow bigger ones which are in like suits and stuff real cool and they gotta fight them they, it's them to defend them led by this group and his inventions it's real cool you got another character i think his name's radu he's got a real bad accent for the character he's playing but uh he's fun he he's quirky geeky kind of like always uh pushed off by everyone and he ends up kind of like being kind of a hero character which is pretty cool but um yeah you got them fighting they're invading on prom night like i said and they, it's up to them to defend the town and fight back it's really fun you got crabs there the crabs invading uh killing people as well as getting uh decimated themselves uh it leads to a final ending where you got like this kaiju you got you know your giant creature stuff like that it's it's real fun and it's a fight back and forth so that's what i'm going to get into the film uh this is real b movie uh made on a budget you know but it, it is done pretty well it's a blend of uh cgi mixed with practical there's some cgi moments um but also there's some pretty solid practical effects as well i like how the crabs look there's a lot of nods to Gremlins. There's a bar scene that's very rip off of Gremlins. Um, and then you got, this is more explicit. It kind of felt to me like a, I was watching like a TV movie at times, but then it, it has a lot of uh, explicit language. You, you got the F-bombs going on through this, a lot of stuff. Some na some uh, sleep, there's some nudity and sleaze in this as well. So it's definitely not a, a daytime TV movie, but uh uh, yeah, it's got classic kaiju homage throughout this film. Um, it's just all around fun. It's that creature. It's like a kind of low budget gremlin ripoff, but I did enjoy this. I'm going to give it a solid 3.5 out of 5. I did like this film. I thought it was fun. And I like these kind of like creature features. So it was right up my alley. So that's going to be my thoughts and opinions, guys, for 2021's Crabs. Uh, please hit a like, comment, subscribe. Give me your thoughts if you've seen this film keep it spoiler free in the comments i uh, hope everyone's having a great week this is my first video up for uh my summer horror marathon spring summer horror marathon that'll be coming up 
randomly during the week. So look out for videos and reviews there, guys. So this is Call Flix Fix 24 back with a video. Everyone take care out there. Peace. Take a picture with this. Just be quick. Hi, Radu. All available units. We have a 19243. A thin wheel washed up with a nasty slice in its belly. Oh, sure as hell wasn't no shark in there. Yeah, I'm guessing not. Something's out there. That's for damn sure.